The leader of one, the leader of one. one can be the leader of many. But if you can't lead this one, you can't lead any. Leadership, communicating and connecting. The essence of why everybody's in this room. Leadership starts with words. We all know that. So let's start by defining leadership. I consider a leader as a person who has a talent or the skill to communicate and connect with others in a manner that will allow them to achieve a desired result. But here's what studies have proved. Less than 3% of what comes from your mouth is actually a part of your message. What does that tell me? It says that 97% of who you are and how people perceive you is not a word that comes out of your mouth. Fellow Toastmasters, guests, and friends, I would like to share some tools about connecting. I think the essence of leadership is connecting. Because of that number, that 3% number, says so little. The rest of the 97 has to say the majority of your message. And boy, I've been trying to figure this out since birth. I just got it. See, I consider myself a rapid fire speaker. And it was always impressive. <laughs> Only to me, though, <laughs> to find out. <laughs> to find out that all of the facts and figures that I came up with were only good for me. Seemingly, I would get, wow, he's a great speaker. Good communicator. But when you go back to birth, as we all have been, we've been looking, we've been striving to become better communicators and connectors. I figured out the rapid fire method did not lead to what I considered the essence of communication. What's the essence of communication? It's being able to impart information to others and have them act in a common cause for a common purpose in your absence. Leaders build people and I had a bit of revelation, I must admit. That revelation came when I figured out all of my facts and figures meant nothing to anyone but me. I was torn! Did I want to be heard or did I want to be effective? Some people said, dumb it down. Some people said, be funny. I said, I would choose to share some tools that I've learned. How to connect to one-on-one, -on -one, in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, and how to connect to an audience. We're all leaders here, right? Say yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> One of the fastest ways to connect as an individual, on an individual basis, is through eye contact. Look a person in the eye. The movie Avatar reminded me of that. The essence of that movie. I walked away. It was saying, repeat after me, I, I see, see, see you. 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 Fundamental, plain and simple. I see you. It says so much to individuals. Smile. It's been technically proven that if you smile at a person within the first 10 seconds of meeting them, it will positively influence the rest of your experience with that person. A simple smile. And at a subconscious level, you know what smile says? Smile says, you count, and I care. Handshake. This is how I show gratitude 
a good healthy handshake. That's how I connect. The handshake is important. The handshake says that I'm confident and I'm glad to have met you. So now how do you connect with an audience? By showing your interest, by showing they have value, and by showing you're grateful to be in their presence. You show an audience your interest by asking them questions, allowing their response to be a part of what you're doing. You show that they have value by showing a member of the group what they've done. Yolanda, your administrative skills at Speakerpreneurs is a valuable asset to our club. Gratitude. How do you show gratitude to an audience? By letting a particular person or specific entity know that you're grateful. Mr. Charles Bird, I'm happy you took the time to come see me tonight on your birthday. See folks, I refuse to go forward and consider myself a leader if I don't share these tools with each and every one of you. If you're not producing leaders, you're only participating. Real leaders produce leaders, and you have to have the tools with which to do that. So in closing, what I've been looking for since birth and just figured out is that communication is simple, and we've got to keep it that way. John F. Kennedy was noted for saying something like this, and I'll say it, something like this. He said, the showing of gratitude, the utterance of the words, pale in comparison to living a life of gratitude. Now leaders, with those tools that I share with you, please take those, run with them. I challenge each and every one of you. And do what old Zig Ziglar said. Old Zig said, if you connect and help enough people get what they want, by God, you should have all your heart desires. Mr.